Hey guys, welcome to another lecture from Basic Statistics. Today, I have to work on axioms of probability. So there are three main axioms of probability. But before getting on to that, we are working on the concept of probability, right? Informally, I did define probability for you guys in one of our lectures. Let's try to understand the concept of probability a little deeper. The definition of it, a little deeper. Intuition to it, a little deeper. Probability kya hai? What is probability? In some sense, we can relate it to relative frequency. Ab ye concept of relative frequency kya hai? Relative frequency with respect to probability is basically relative frequency of an event. Theek hai? Ab hoti kya hai ye relative frequency of an event? It basically refers to the ratio of the number of times an event occurs, the ratio of that to the total number of trials in any experiment. Events, so, uh, events sample space is something that we have Okay, all these sets, right? So, one se probability is nothing but relative frequency of an Intuitively, if we talk probability, ke mein baat kare, so informally, agar main aapko bolu, so it is basically when you, ex, when you take up an experiment and perform it again and again and again and again, infinitely many times maybe, and under the same circumstances, the relative frequency of an event occurring becomes the probability of that event, occurrence of that event. That's what is probability. So please note down the probability of an event refers to the likelihood or relative frequency for which the event occurs if the experiment were repeated a large number of times under similar condition. That's what probability means. So there are three main axioms in probability that we all should know about. Now what is axiom? Hota kya hai? In fact, in mathematics, there are few structures you must have uh, seen. Kya hai? You must have heard of and you work on them, something called theorems. Then there's something called axioms. There's something called lemmas. There's something called corollaries. Just to start with, of course, there are some more structures. We corollaries. And of course, there are some more structures that we can talk about. But right now, let me just, these are the few uh, that you probably must have heard of. Ab isme se ye axiom hota kya hai? So axioms are basically assumptions jinko aap prove nahi karte. A theorem is particularly something that you prove. Lemmas are some supporting statements that you prove. Axioms are something which is going to happen. You don't really need to prove it. Corollaries are something that is a result of, sort of a consequence of some theorem. So, we call corollary. Ka naam dete hain. So, axioms kya hai? We can say axioms are basically that starting point in maths. There are some statements that we have assumed to be true. We don't need to prove that. Now let's state the formal definition for probability and along with that talk about the three axioms. Formally speaking, probability kya hai? Probability, probability is nothing but a real valued function, say P, that assigns to each event A in a sample space S a number, which is called the probability of the event A. And it's denoted generally by P A. Or there could be different different ways to, uh, you know, write it down. Such that the following three properties are satisfied. What are these prob properties? Pehli property. Probability of any event A should be greater than or equal to zero. Isn't it true? Probability is a ratio of the number of times an event occurs. Ratio of that with the total number of times the total number of trials or total no number of times you are doing that experiment again and again. So probability A is just a chance, it's a percentage you can say, 
its relative frequency, so it has to be greater than or equal to zero. Negative thodi ho sakti hai. Number two, the probability of the entire sample space, if you will take, it has to be equal to one. Because agar aapne saare ke saare, saare ke saare possibilities le li, saare outcomes le li, and you sum up all the prob or you know take the probability of this entire sample space to usme to sare ke sare consume ho gaye na usme event jo aap le rahe ho that is actually your sample space only number 3 if a1 a2 so on and so forth are events and they are disjoint. So, AI intersection AJ is equal to phi for all I not equal to J. Then, the probability. So, basically, you don't have any intersection in these events. You don't have any intersection of any of the two events. Okay. So, they are mutually disjoint. So, if you have probability li, A1 union, A2 union, so on and so forth, it could be finite case or infinite case, that will just be the sum of the individual probabilities. Probability A1 plus probability A2 plus probability A3 and so on and so forth. Jitne bhi uh, events aap le rahe hai par, sare ke sare. That's because the intersection is, uh, intersection to hai hi nahi kisi mein bhi, to intersection ko hume consume nahi karna padega, union mein. And union intersection, how they could be related, that's something that you should know, you should have done by now the revision of your set theory. From the axioms and set theory that we have learnt, we can actually find out certain theorems, certain laws in probability. So, pehla theorem, jo mein aaj loongi, that is the probability of a complement. Complement kya hota hai? If A is an event, A complement is the complement of that. Whatever is not in A is an A complement. So, probability of A complement is nothing but 1 minus probability of A. Ab aisa kyun hoga? If you have done, you have revised your set theory, bhoat easily aap ye cheez samaj paayenge. You would be able to understand that a union A complement kya hota hai? A union A complement is the entire sample space. Right? So, probability of A union A complement should be nothing but probability of the entire sample space. Now, from the axiom 3 that we have seen, because A intersection A complement is phi, a disjoint. A or A complement mein to by definition kuch aisa nahi ho sakta na common. So therefore this is nothing but probability A plus probability A complement. And what is the probability of the entire sample space? Ye bhi humne abhi axiom mein dekha. That has to be equal to 1 because it's logical. Pura hi sample space le liya to 1 hi to aayega. 100% sab kuch aagaya na. So therefore probability of A complement is nothing but 1 minus probability A. So, that's the first law, the complement law. Ab dusra, probability of the empty set. Probability of the empty set, phi. Okay. So, probability of the empty set, phi, should be equal to 0. Esa Q. For a simple reason, phi kya hai? Agar aap koi bhi event A lete ho. Agar aap koi bhi event A lete ho. So, A is any event. We know that A union phi, if you unite A with the empty set, what will you get? You will get A only. Which or to aani jayega, right? So, probability A union phi should be equal to probability A. So, probability A 
plus probability phi should be equal to probability a by q kyunki a intersection with phi phi has nothing so a ka intersection with phi has to be just phi aur kuch common ho hi nahi sakta uske liye element to hona chahiye tha phi mein ab aap dekhenge yahan par to probability a hi hai yahan par bhi probability a hai so that cancels off or when you take things to the first one side you will get probability of phi is equal to 0 Let's work on one more. The probability concerning subsets. So, if E is some event which is a subset of an event F, then probability of E will be less than or equal to probability of F. F. ऐसा क्यों होगा? Again, अगर आपने set theory ठीक से revise किया है, this should be easy for you to understand. देखिए अब हम क्या कह सकते हैं वी हैव ई इज अ सबसेट ऑफ एफ वॉट डज दैट इम्प्लाई उससे हमें क्या पता लगता है इफ ई इज एन अ सबसेट ऑफ एफ एफ जो है ना उसको आप कह सकते हो दैट एफ इज नथिंग बट यूनियन ऑफ ई एंड द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ ई कॉम्प्लीमेंट विद एफ इसको समझे यहां से ई इज अ सबसेट ऑफ एफ ये ई है बिकॉज ये सबसेट है ये एफ है राइट सो ई इज अ सबसेट ऑफ एफ सो कैन आई से दैट एफ इज एफ इज ई यूनियन विद वट एवर इज योर योर इज द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ एफ एंड E complement, right? So therefore, probability of f should be equal to probability of E union. E complement intersection f. Now, can you observe something? Can you observe that E? You just said me here. We have event E and E E complement intersection f. So in both events, ka. इंटरसेक्शन फाइ है दे डिस जॉइंट दीज टू आर डिस जॉइंट दीज टू आर डिस जॉइंट सो देफ आई कैन से दिस इज नथिंग बट प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ई प्लस प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ई कॉम्प्लीमेंट इंटरसेक्शन है ठीक है ये आ गया हमारे पास so probability of f जो है probability of f is probability of e plus something now we know that probability e complement intersection f it's a probability तो होगी तो greater than or equal to zero probability is always greater than or equal to zero so therefore probability of F ऑटोमैटिकली आपको क्या पता लग रहा है प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एफ इज प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ई प्लस समथिंग पॉजिटिव सो इट्स ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ई सो इन केस दे फॉर ई इज अ सबसेट ऑफ एफ दैट विल ऑटोमैटिकली इम्प्लाई प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ई विल बी लेस देन और इक्वल टू प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एफ एंड दिस वॉज वन वे ऑफ proving it set theoretically humne yahan pe kiya hai you brush up your set theory properly probability mein aapko bahut madad milegi in order to see certain sets thank you very much this is what i wanted to discuss today i'll see you in the next lecture